morning everyone reporting live from everyday driving in Lagos day one of the Lagos lockdown or shall we call it partial lockdown here on the right we can see a couple of people they sell gas they're open shall we say they consider themselves essential service in a few days probably the, the state government will make this clearer for now they are open Today we're going to look around the Keja primarily to see if activities around this area are busy. The Lagos State Government had requested for markets to be closed. We can observe here in the Keja all shops all shops, I repeat, all shops here in Ikeja are shut, closed, totally. Good number of people are walking. Further down, we can see buses, commercial buses, whether they are loading is tough to tell from this distance. However, I can confirm that shops in the Keja Ibudu market are actually short. Nigerians are generally moving around. Here we are on Oluwu Street. The Itri to my left <laughs> does look open. Here on Oluwu Street. <laughs> Shops are generally shut. Banks, ATMs have queues. Both on my left, the bank on my left and on my right. Those who are milling around are not observing social distancing. Sadly. But here on Uluwu Street, majority of shops are locked. On the adjoining street here is based on lockdown. To my right where we usually have the concentration of mechanics streets are empty the streets here are empty the shops on this street rather are empty people are sitting around the Hausa community here are milling probably catching up on the events of the past few days a few days ago, I actually rode through here and can, com can confirm that the kind of activity we saw a few days ago actually does not exist here. Here is this rider, as you can see, going one way, when he could have gone all the way to do a U-turn. The smile office on my left is open. The filling station open. They probably consider themselves essential services. Who knows? The fast food 
the bakes also open probably since they sell food Domino's the confectionery store also open the bank to my left security staff at hand we could generally say they are open rough and tumble on my right closed sweet sensation to my left is open as a fast food or a restaurant serving food majority of stores here on Okwebi Road are closed it's generally very light traffic confirming the government's ability to uh, the government's lockdown actually the success of the government's lockdown we say it's too early to tell because it's about quarter to 11 we could say it's early to tell these traffic hawkers are here obviously trying to make a, a living considering their daily earners the confectionery store the restaurant to my left tasty fried chicken TFC very very popular with the Lagos crowd is also open I am hoping they are not allowing guests in instead of take, doing takeouts yes they're not allowing guests to eat in rather they do takeout Lagosians going to if they are not where are they going to where exactly are they heading to it's a very interesting question where they are headed to it is tough to say at this moment <coughs> quite a number of police vehicles I, I want to believe they are going out to enforce the closure especially at markets or at commercial establishments much activity going on on this side of Okpebi looks uh, pretty empty I must tell uh, the usual police on the right by the Sheraton Link Bridge there are also not there today
driven the whole length of we've driven the whole length of Okwepi Road. The past few days has been a um, a high number of courier companies, courier cyclists indicating a lot more people are taking deliveries or doing takeouts while they are at home this is a very safe thing to do a few shops you can see here open police at this junction tough to say what they are here for the pharmacies are open most of the shops we are looking at are seen here seem to be malls for essential day leaving restaurants, pharmacies. That's what it looks like. Restaurants, pharmacies, supermarkets. All other shops appear. Net Pharmacy, Med Plus Pharmacy, all open. crowd around rent money the loan shop it's unable I'm unable to tell if it means a lot of people are requesting for loans considering the time of the month good number of Lagosians also seem to be cycling so now we are on Island Avenue here we can see Health Plus open Veritas supermarket open the, the electronic appliances stores so far are closed same for the banks we are observing Echo Bank closed Providence Bank on the contrary Zenith Bank are open Sony is closed FCMB is open, Wemma Bank is open, Heritage Bank of course like we reported on Toy Street and here on Allen open, Union Bank also is open, Bite More is open, Washiard had sent a message they will be closed for 7 days so they are closed. First Bank doesn't look like they're having any operations for what we see in front. Again, we're passing by Zenith Bank, attending to customers, they are open. UBA also are open. Larry's Bank open, Guarantee Trust Bank open, Access Diamond Bank open. 
Unity Bank doesn't look like there's any activity in their frontage. We don't know if that means they're open or not. But generally, we can see pharmacies, supermarkets, and restaurants as the only... Look at this lady! things happen? What's she doing there? Man. The roundabout works, works here, seems to be in full, full gear. The roundabout itself has been fully covered fully covered Reduced activities, yes, but majority of people are not sitting at home. Nigerians or Lagosians are moving around in Ikeja. Like they have no care in the world. Our hope is that we do not have cases escalated to the levels of that which, which we see in, in fellow countries, especially those in Europe, Italy and Spain recently have become centers of the epidemic in Europe and sadly so many have lost their lives as a result of this Man. how can you turn from this lane to that lane to a responsible level of driving number of Lagosians have their masks on, some have gloves, 